To remove the fan and main heatsink assembly from the GTX 980 Ti, first you need to identify the four spring-loaded screws that connect it and then unscrew them. You will also need to disconnect the fan cable from the header and LED cable. Keep the thermal pad together with the heatsink so it can be reattached at a later date if necessary. Clean the GPU chip with a soft cloth and rubbing alcohol to remove the thermal paste. Unscrew the remaining screws and release the heat sinks that cover the RAM and the VRM chips. Again, make sure to take care when to keep the thermal pads safe and undamaged as they can be reused if you wish to reattach the heat sink in the future. As we're using a non-reference card, the placement of the chips and capacitors on the graphics card itself is non-standard, and this means that we cannot use the supplied VRM heatsink. It simply just does not fit the card. As a workaround, we reattach the original heatsinks and backplate, and then attach the 18mm fan to provide additional cooling to the VRM area. This is of course not the ideal solution but Attic do warn that the kit is only suitable for reference graphics cards. The last stage is to fit the all-in-one section to the graphics card. Since we were using the original backplate, we were unable to use the one supplied by Arctic, so it was a simple process of applying some MX4 thermal compound and connecting the loop to the GPU with the spring-loaded screws provided. We tightened the screws in a criss-cross pattern to ensure an even mount and spreading of the thermal compound itself. The pump will be powered by a Molex connector and a 140mm fan is powered by a splitter that connects the 18mm fan to the GPU header. <laughs> 